I am currently on my third Great Lakes adventure. This time I'm exploring many of the islands of the Great Lakes, and I'm also taking part in some of the scientific research that takes place on the islands and on our lakes. This September, I was able to go out on the SS Grayling with the United States Geological Survey. They do an annual bottom trawl along the Great Lakes to see what species are living along the bottom. This is Dr. Bo Bonnell, and he invited me to come along on the ship. This year, they were able to outfit a small underwater camera within the net so they could not only assess what species they were capturing, but also have video of the net moving along the bottom of the lake and to see the visual of what species were down there and what they were uh, missing, things that were not taken into the net. These large wooden and metal doors, uh, they call them doors, actually slide, are dragged along the bottom of the lake and keep the net suspended between them uh, and keep the mouth of the net open so that the net moves smoothly along the bottom of the lake. And here they are pulling up the net from the last trawl. There are a series of trawls that they do every year and they've done this ever since uh, the 1970s. This was the catch from one trawl. This is a purse string net so they can just undo the knot on the bottom of it and bring all of these fish into the lab space on the boat where they assess the weight of the fish, the various species, and they freeze down some of these fish to study later on. They can study what the fish are eating, uh, the health of the fish, the, the age of the fish. Most of these are alewives. Uh, there is one yellow perch uh, in that batch, and this is an alewife up close, quite a large one here. And this is the yellow perch, one of the yellow perch we caught in shallower waters. As we got deeper in the lake, we saw a lot more quagga mussels and some deeper water species like the scalpin or the slimy scalpin. You can learn more about me and my Great Lakes adventures and my books at laketrek.com, and I hope to see you along the way.